Hi Capricorn, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for the month of September 2022. This is going to be for any uh, Capricorn looking for any guidance and messages in their daily love lives. Remember, if this video doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe guys and uh, leave any comments if anything resonates with you here. And take what does resonate in the reading and leave out the rest, please, Capricorn. And again, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are also welcome. And remember, things, roles can always be reversed here in the reading, so please take it as it uh, resonates with you. So we're going to start today's reading for you, Capricorn, with one card from the Romancing Angel Oracle deck. Then we're going to do Hidden Truth Oracle plus in the shadows from your person. And then we're gonna go through the Rider Waite just to get a more in-depth reading for you, okay? And clarifiers if needed, but sometimes not necessary. So let's figure out what we need to know for you, Capricorn. We're gonna start with your reading. I'm gonna draw one card here. We're gonna give it a quick shuffle here. We already did a pre-shuffle. Let's find out what we need to know for you, universe. Please give me a clear message here for Capricorn, please, for the month of September for 2022. What is going on? for Capricorn in their love life. What does Capricorn need to know, please? Universe, please give me messages for Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Okay. So, Capricorn, I have, you deserve love, you are lovable, okay? You deserve love, you are lovable. Very nice. I believe someone else got this card before too. It was Sagittarius possibly, so do check out that video as well. You feel as if uh, sometimes you have difficulty finding love and you're wondering if maybe it's not meant to be for you. And I'm telling you now, Capricorn, that the universe is telling you that things are going to look better for you, okay? And you are lovable and you need to be told that maybe no no one tells you that but you know you deserve love and it will happen for you okay maybe not right away but eventually at some point things will turn in your favor so let's find out here a uh, hidden truth oracle here could be you and your person someone you're dealing with whoever you're thinking about let's find out here for you messages for capricorn please what does capricorn need to know what does capricorn need to know so capricorn your card will be i am grateful for the spiritual lesson. That's definitely you. You've learned something from a past relationship. Somebody here you were dealing with that you had to remove yourself with or maybe you're no longer dealing with. But you are grateful though. And there was a lesson that was learned here and it changed you, made you into a stronger, better person. For others could be damaging, okay? But either way you've learned and you are definitely at least, if not stronger, uh, able to handle more pain if necessary, okay? I know, you know, I don't sugarcoat the readings, but that is what it is. But right now I am getting the uh, idea here that a lot of you are grateful about being through a situation, whether it be positive or negative, and learning from it. And usually it's the more negative things that happen to us that teach us those very important spiritual lessons, okay? because it allows us to finally realize something and make some changes in our lives. So let's find out right now uh, what messages we have for your person here with the in the shadows. So if you're thinking about someone or dealing with someone here, we're gonna find out what they're thinking, okay? Universe, let's find out what Capricorn needs to know, please. Give me a message for Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Give me a message for Capricorn, please. I just don't want to come out today. Your person being very stubborn. They're not very clear with their messages or intentions. Okay. Here we are. I wish you would come back. Is their message. Are you avoiding someone? Are you purposely not seeing somebody due to your own wishes. The person who you were dealing with in the past, did you guys leave on bad terms? Did you make up? Did you 
uh, still have any feelings for them? That's Those are questions you need to answer for yourself here. They wish you would come back. Maybe they didn't treat you well, and so you had to leave. You can definitely check out the Sagittarius video as well for some of you. Okay, Capricorn, I'm getting very similar messages here, so uh, maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart as well. All right, so I'm going to start with the Rider Waite deck here, and we're going to figure out some more in-depth messages here for you, okay? Universe, please give me clear messages for Capricorn, please, for the month of September. What messages are for Capricorn, please? Okay, your first card out is the Four of Wands. Yeah, definitely take a look at Sagittarius. We have here the Four of Wands. This is going to be an energy for you guys of commitment here. There could be a situation where you're celebrating something. You may be moving in with someone. Uh, some of you may be starting a new chapter in your life here, okay? Something that's very celebratory. You may be attending a wedding this month here, okay? Maybe a sibling's wedding or some sort of major celebration here. Happy times I'm getting. Happy, good times, celebration. Great energy for you for the month. Could also be your optimism when it comes to relationships here. There may be some potential with somebody here, okay? One, 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 one with the four of wands could be a significant here, okay? Uh, there may be somebody coming in. Now, next card we have for you is the Hermit card. And this is represented by someone who is Virgo here coming into your uh, reading. So again, could be Virgo, strong Virgo in their chart. You may have Virgo in your chart as well, but let's read it as someone coming in here with Virgo energy. And of course, this card is about uh, searching inner wisdom here, making good choices, okay? Taking a step back and analyzing the situation here, uh, really realizing what is uh, absolutely necessary for you and finding out the truth here. <clears throat> Some of you search for love. Some of you search for wisdom. Some of you search for experience here, okay? This person that may be approaching you can be older as well or just wiser or they have a lot of knowledge when it comes to certain situations and things that they're good at here, okay? I'm getting here that maybe even this person can be in a very respectful position here or you respect them so they could be a boss energy or someone else here, okay? Somebody who's very <clears throat> wise. Now, what else do you need to know here? You're being guided down a certain path here for yourself, Capricorn. What is that path? Where are you going? Who is this person that you're dealing with? Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles next for you. This is an energy of you juggling with uh, two different things here. Choices, decisions, indecision. Choosing one option over the other slightly more and then changing your mind again. So I'm getting this energy of being wishy-washy with a certain situation here. You may be contemplating coming back to a certain individual because they want you back here, but it may not be the best choice for some of you. Some of you may be uh, juggling different people in your dating lives right now, okay Capricorn? You are really indecisive I'm seeing here, okay? or. There's too much to handle right now, I'm seeing, and that may be weighing on you a little bit here. Not too crazy, nothing too crazy, okay? So with that in mind, let's see what's next for you. I have two cards, but we'll take those both. Next card is the Eight of Wands. So something is happening here. There's movement, there's positivity, there's an energy of moving forward through something. Something action happening, so you're probably going to decide to make some sort of decision here, either to cut one choice out, Stop juggling this back and forthness, okay? You're gonna be more firm, more directed into a position here, and you're going to either make a choice, take action, and move through. So there may be love, you may be having sex here, you may be in a really intimate relationship here with someone for this month. <clears throat> I'm getting for others, it could be communication if you're not intimately involved here. You can be exchanging a lot of text messages, calling this person, interacting with them a lot this month, okay? And that may be the choice that you have to make here. Is this person going to be someone that you want to be with or do you move on here? What is that choice? So next coming up for you, we have is the 10 of pentacles in reverse for you, Capricorn. This card here talks about stability and losing control over that or having a sense of uh, 
questioning your future here and what is right for you on in your life path here i'm getting here a lot of you aren't confident about that okay some of you may have not reached your dreams yet and you're still working on those dreams okay and maybe that's also another factor when it comes to finding love you don't want to give up your dreams you don't want to give up your career you don't want to give up your uh financial stability for some of you okay and for others you may be seeking that and you feel incomplete with that ten of uh, cup uh, sorry pentacles in reverse here there's either a sense of not reaching this point yet or needing to find that in order to feel completed here okay and some of you want you know this could also be family and reunions here and really good energy here okay a lot of love and security here and you seek that so that may be one of your main uh, reasons for pursuing a relationship because you want a family, you want stability, you want that life, okay? For others, financially, maybe it'd be easier to be with someone, okay? Rent's going to be cheaper for you at least. Okay, so, or a mortgage, whatever. All right, so let's find out more for you, Capricorn. What other messages are coming through for Capricorn, please? Universe, let's get another message here. Oh, that was trying to come out, but it didn't, so we're not going to take it. That one did, though. Okay, so our next card is the Temperance card. Heavy Sagittarius energy here coming through. So we have Virgo with the Hermit here, Sagittarius here with Temperance, and Wand energy here, and Pentacles. So Earth and Fire is coming strong through this reading here, okay? Watch out for those signs. May not be important though. So with the temperance card, there is going to be a situation here of waiting it out here for the right time, knowing when is the right time here, doing things in a more balanced way here, not overreacting, doing something successfully, but also with finesse here. I'm seeing for some of you here, there is definitely a connection and love coming up for you here. This may be something that has been growing for a while now for some of you Capricorns, someone that you know here, or it could be somebody new, but it's going to be something that feels very comfortable, feels very homely for you, feels very natural here, okay, with the Temperance card. And of course, things may not happen right really quickly for you two, but they will definitely be steady and they will be of quality here, okay? So what else do we need to know here in terms of this new love potential for this month for capricorn please what else does capricorn need to know what is this more about this connection please with this person tell me more tell me more please tell me more we have two but we'll take them both this one did fly out first so we'll take that okay so for you first we have the four of pentacles you see, Capricorn, there's this holding on energy of something. So either you or your person holding on to an old idea of something, holding on to the idea that maybe they want to be alone forever or they don't deserve love here, just like you don't believe that. Some of you are holding on to that energy of knowing that maybe this isn't going to happen or this may not work out and you're scared and you're reluctant to move forward. Some, some of you want to just keep to yourselves here in this situation you reach a certain point we're here with a connection with someone and then you break it off or you retreat or you have some sort of uh, second guessing and you sabotage yourself okay so you there's an energy of you wanting to keep to yourself here but is that necessarily the best way to be dealing with this and it's about love here because the next card is the ace of uh, cups in reverse you're scared of love. You enjoy the connection I'm getting here for some of you Capricorns. And you enjoy the game and you enjoy all of that and dating. But then when it comes to any big commitments I'm getting for a lot of you Capricorns, you want to keep to yourself here. And you're either refusing, rejecting love offers here, or maybe your heart's not in it. Maybe your heart's not in it. And now uh, with others, if this is the other person's energy, they may be holding back with certain things as well. They may have a connection with you. They may care for you. They may have uh, feelings for you. 
and things may be going smoothly, but at the same time you feel a disconnect with this person as if they can't give everything of themselves. And that's because either they haven't loved themselves yet, or they're not ready to love just yet, okay? Or there may be a rejected offer here for some. Whatever it is, there's uh, the energy of delay or uh, questioning whether or not this is right for you. So I'm gonna get some clarifiers here because we need to know more about this reading. Let's find out what your uh, decision here needs to be made here with the Two of Pentacles, okay? So what decision is coming up here for Capricorn, please? What is Capricorn juggling right now? Tell me more. Universe, tell me more for Capricorn, please. What messages are for Capricorn right now? Tell me more, please. Okay, we have the Five of Wands in reverse. The decision may be about competition, maybe about some sort of argument, some sort of comp like some sort of competitiveness with other people here, okay? You may find that there's other people competing with love for this person, or you may find that other people are somehow giving their opinions on what you should do here, and it's all just a little bit in, uh, infuriating to you, okay? There may be people in your lives that are negatively influencing you when it comes to uh, choosing relationships and finding love. There may be people around that you're still holding on to that are keeping you from that, okay? And you may have to decide to let them go. You may have to decide that this is time that you don't want to deal with that energy anymore. What else does uh, Capricorn need to know here about that? Give me one more, please, for Capricorn, for the Two of Pentacles, please. What does Capricorn need to know, please? Okay, we have two, so I'll take them both. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Could be an earth sign that you're dealing with, who you're letting, trying to let go here. That could be a negative influence in your life here. Could be uh, someone uh, with uh, a strong feminine energy here. Doesn't have to be female. Could be male as well, okay. But Queen of Pentacles energy, someone who's maybe jealous or uh, overbearing here. And maybe they're too controlling with certain things here I'm getting here. Someone uh, really could be into their vanity as well here I'm getting. Your next card is the Hierophant here, okay? So strong Taurus coming up for both here energies. So Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Taurus here, okay? Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant next for you. With the Hierophant uh, also describing the Two of Pentacles here, you may have to make this decision based on your own experience here, based on your own teachings of what you've learned as right and wrong in a situation. What you know is the best choice and what is most traditional to you is going to be the answer for you, okay? And you may be weighing heavily on this decision based on, you know, a church group that you're in or what your family has told you all along or something that you've learned amongst your friends that you guys keep. But whatever that is, I'm seeing you following that through and if it means eliminating a certain choice or certain people, certain things that are no longer serving you, you're going to make that choice based on what you've learned, okay? So. What else do we need to know here? Let's find out more about this Four of Pentacles, right? This is what's stumping me right now. So tell me more about why, who's holding on to what? Wow, okay. So we have the tower next for you. That's clarifying the Four of Pentacles. There's a major shift and change here with someone withdrawing. Someone's keeping to themselves. Someone is being selfish even. Does that lead to an end to a relationship here? Does it lead to you not wanting to move forward in a relationship anymore? Something is ending here. So you may go from temperance, positivity, potential relationship here, possible love here, into like, okay, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm like freaked out. I'm gonna go just keep back here and I can't. And you're just gonna either shut down, sh uh, break this off, end the relationship, Vice versa, they may do the same, okay? Someone may be nervous. And again, it has to do with how you don't feel like you deserve love sometimes. So whoever this resonates with, take it for uh, the messages here for you, Capricorn. Let's find out more. Oh, we have two more. So your next card uh, clarifying the Four of Pentacles is the Four of Swords in reverse. Someone here uh, has taken a lot of time to think about this and it's no longer going to be a time of contemplation. It's more a time of action, okay? So no more uh, thinking about this scenario anymore. You're just going to do it, okay? 
you don't have time and patience for this and it's going to be happening fast with this tower moment so this decision whoever's making it it's for a reason okay maybe they want to be alone maybe they're scared to be alone but they do it anyway and the next card is the hangman so uh, after this uh closure or breakup or you know this revelation there comes a moment here with the hangman that you're going to just kind of sit by and see how things kind of go whether or not they come back to you or you come back to them and you're testing your feelings and i'm getting for some of you that you're like going into like different areas of feelings and putting yourself through things maybe someone else is putting you some through something to see how you react emotionally and there's going to be a different perspective reached here. You may see something you didn't realize before. And maybe this person wasn't good for you. Or maybe they are good for you, okay? But with the Ace of Cups next, I do feel like this is an opportunity that's missed out here. So why is this Ace of Cups in reverse here? Tell me more, please. Tell me more for Capricorn. What else for Capricorn, please? What other messages for Capricorn, please? What other messages for Capricorn? Tell me more, please, for Capricorn. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups, clarifying the Ace of Cups. Someone wanted to walk away. Someone didn't feel like they could love here. Someone felt scared of love, or they just didn't want it. They weren't ready for it. That one is coming out. Oh, it's the death card in reverse. Hmm. I'm seeing that it's not the end all. They may be walking away with their feelings, someone or you, in terms of this love opportunity here. It may be too much for them to handle this month for some of you. Remember, you're learning a spiritual lesson here. And this person wishes you would come back. So it all makes sense here. They're either playing some sort of mind game or you are here. And even though you guys realize that there is a connection now, some of you are scared to move forward into something more serious. So one of you or both of you walk away here. But with the death card in reverse, it's like there's unfinished business that hasn't completed yet. And therefore you cannot have this restart just yet because you guys still need to deal with stuff. Seriously. You do, okay? Let's find out one more, please, for the Ace of Cups in reverse. Universe, tell me more. Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles. This could be someone at uh, your work, your school, or some sort of uh, community here. I'm getting a sense also that this energy means you kind of want to be alone, you don't want to deal with people. And so that could be them, that could be you here. You may have to spend some time alone here in order to miss this person and vice versa. They may have to go through some sort of time here too where they're by themselves or not doing things with other people for them to finally miss you and want you back in their life. But certainly a lot going on for you, Capricorn. Uh, it seems to me here that a lot of you will be going through some ups and downs here. But, uh, you know, overall, this is always going to be your choice when it comes to relationships here and dealing with people. So you have the power to make things happen for yourself and make things and change things for you. OK, let's find out at the bottom of the deck what we need to know here for you. We have the page of cups as your advice card for the month. So really, you know, it's a lighthearted, fresh energy, just like when I said with the temperance here and the eight of wands coming in. OK, you're going to be pursuing someone. You're going to have some love here. You're going to have some feeling with someone and it's going to be light. And maybe that's all you need right now, but it will bring a lesson coming into you that you'll learn here. OK, something will change. Something will happen. Something will make you realize either if you miss this person or not or why you still have unfinished business with them. They may be avoiding you. They may not want to deal with you because they're scared. Okay. But even they know with the death card in reverse that this isn't over. So uh, you're going to have to find out more in your next reading. And I hope this resonated with you. But guess what? It's uh, 
time to end the reading right now. So thank you for watching right now, Capricorn. I really appreciate it. Guys, I'll have other videos coming up soon. So please do like and subscribe and hit notifications for any messages and leave any comments if something resonated with you. Guys, thanks for joining me here tonight and bye for now.